Today we're going to finish our math unit and one of our terms we're going to talk about is capacity. Capacity means how much a container holds or can hold. So today we're going to do a little bit of science and math together and we're going to be using this term capacity a lot. Today parents, this is an activity that you can do with your child and we're going to learn how to make bird feeders. Um, these are Easter egg um, bird feeders, and this one has a smaller capacity. This one is obviously larger, and I've got some materials you're going to need to do this. One thing you're going to need is some flour, which Miss Sparrow has. You're going to need some water. I'm just using water from a water bottle, and some KO syrup. You can um, pick this up at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some containers, a spoon, and of course you're going to need bird seed, and a measuring cup is kind of a nice thing to have for this also. Now, those Easter eggs that you're all done using, get them out because we're gonna put them to town. You're gonna need probably at least 12 to 15 Easter eggs. If you have an egg that's bigger than my egg, a big one like this, grab that, that'll work fantastic. All right, after you get your materials together, let's get started. When we think about capacity, we think about a measurement. So we're gonna need three-fourths cup of flour, which Ms. Sparrow's already measured out, a half a cup of water, which I use the measuring cup, and I already have our water measured out, a fourth of a cup of corn syrup, and that's not very much, and I have that in our clear container, four cups of bird seed, which I already put in our bowl, and we're gonna combine all that mixture together. So when you put all your ingredients in, which I've already done, so our time is not spent on that, and you mix it up, it's gonna be kinda of sticky and kinda of gooey. But that's great, that's exactly what we want. I'm using a plastic bowl, and this has a pretty large capacity. You can see this bowl is much smaller, but it's perfect for the bird seed I had. I measured out my four cups, I got three fourths cup of my flour in there and my half a cup of water. Now, I bet you looked at these two containers. What do you notice about these cylinders? You guessed it. They have the same capacity. They hold about the same amount of material. So, what I did is I scooped up some of this bird seed and I shoved it in our egg. And a little trick that I learned is if you use, um, have your parent do this, spray a little bit of Pam inside the egg, it'll help them fall right out. If you don't have this, don't worry. Your mom, dad, grandpa, or grandma can take a paper towel with a little bit of butter and just put a tiny coating on it. We just need something to help pull that egg shell off. This egg has been sitting for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put his little top back on. I'm gonna make some more eggs and I'm gonna use a cupcake holder to hold them. In about an hour, I'm going to slip the top off, let it still sit in my cupcake holder, and wait about another hour. When that second hour's passed, I'm ready to open this egg up. I can use string, yarn, or you can do what Miss Sparrow did. I just laid mine outside of my porch. Squirrels love these, birds love these, so it'd be really neat to see um, what kind of wild animals are attracted to your capacity bird feeders. So let's go back and review just real quick. When you think of measurement, capacity is a really important thing when you're cooking or you're measuring lumber or you're building something. We're talking about how something can be held by the amount. I want to make sure you guys got a chance to see the recipe one more time. Three fourths cup of flour, only half a cup of water. I just used regular water from a water bottle. Only a fourth a cup of corn syrup, but four cups of bird seed. And it makes about 18 little Easter eggs. But obviously if you're using bigger eggs, you probably won't go as far. Mix it all together, stuff your eggs and let them dry. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed your math lesson with a little bit of science. I'll see you for our next video.